Oh no, no, no. You're still trying. You're still trying to produce for me. I need to let you go. I grew any potatoes. Things are very, very dead. Uh, so here's hoping I got something to dig up. Trying to be careful so that I don't hurt any potatoes that might be in here. <gasps> I found one! <laughs> it's very tiny. That is a garlic. <sighs> well, guys, sad to say, uh, this might be all we got. One, two, three, four, five teeny potatoes that are probably not any good. We'll try again next year. This, my friends, is what happens when you don't treat squash bugs. Um, I can see hundreds just sitting right here. Ooh. Successful pumpkins, and I kept documenting on my snapchat oh there's squash bugs there's squash bugs and i never got out here to treat it and now my individual pumpkin plant is gone probably for the season there are about three fruits on the vine i don't anticipate that they'll make it so let's do a little uh close up on the squash bug infestation.
my melon plants are doing okay. They could probably use a good watering. I think it's supposed to rain soon, so I don't want to drown them. But, R.I.P. Pumpkin. One thing that is going pretty well right now is my tomatoes. I am loving these little garden tomatoes, like just for salads. They're not very seedy. They're just perfect for chopping up and tossing in a salad. And of course I'm doing this without a basket. So, uh, how many do you think I could fit in a pocket? <laughs> so this one came off of somewhere over here and uh, it's not got any holes. It's absolutely gorgeous. Love it when a plan comes together. More pocket tomato. Beautiful grape tomatoes. Beautiful. In the pocket. sun-dried tomatoes. Yeah, my tomatoes are uh, producing pretty well. Even though I haven't uh, got out here and turned anything down for a while. Ha! I wondered if this had any holes in it. It does not. Beautiful. Just beautiful. one, however, has to go to the compost bin. I mean, I guess you could cut it in half and uh, salvage the one side, assuming there's no worm in there anymore. But I don't mind throwing things in the compost just because it'll give back to my garden next year if I throw it in the compost now. It'll still be useful. There are just so many that are ready right now. I can't bring myself. Oh no, that plant split. I can't bring myself to move on. But I'm running out of places to keep them. Nice shady spot. These cucamelons have just done amazing this year. And uh, what did I say? Probably eight plants in here. And it's dropping cucamelons because I haven't been harvesting any. Uh, I really like it for a cover plant, but I may not do it again next year because I want pole beans or long beans here. Uh, if you can see behind me, the cucumber plant is also declining rapidly, which there's four of those. And. Uh, I tried for a second succession and that did not succeed because critters ate the babies. And I don't know who can sit in the garden and find weeds and not pick them. So if you can, you're better than me. But look how beautiful these cucamelons are. for shade and to think I wasn't sure about peppers this year and this is a volunteer grape tomato plant that started from last year so that's fun it's producing well sweet peppers straight from the garden Oh, that's sweet. Yep, that's good. Real good. Bell peppers are doing all right. We got a kind of good one here. This is a bell pepper. Oh, her, look, there's a good one. Can you guys even see that? I don't know if I want to pick it yet, but look. 
Finally, after all this time, finally got some good peppers. Got those volunteer grape tomatoes still. My number two and number three are getting giant. They like it here. I'm so happy that they do. Beautiful. Just beautiful. It's hot. I didn't time this too well. It's already 90 degrees and it's 12.30 in the afternoon. I meant to get out here early this morning, but uh, sleeping in sounded better. So uh, the garden is uh, taking its turn down the end of summer and it's a little bittersweet. I grew some things that I would never grown before, like the banana peppers and jalapenos and different peppers, different tomatoes that I've never grown before that I'm going to try to grow again next year. I've got to save some seeds. And uh, some things that failed, like the pumpkin and squash plants and the starting seeds and the different things that I tried that didn't succeed. But now I'm going to try next year with different approaches or apply things that I learned uh, to the 2022 grow season. I'm going to try to start milkweeds from seed next year, uh, see how my rearing of monarchs goes, uh, see if I can house more and save more. I'd like to get to 50 this year if I can, I'm, I'm at 30-ish, like 28 or 29 right now. So I'd like to get to 50 my first year, that would be amazing. Uh, there's some dragonflies mating, I don't know why little things like that catch my eye. Uh, but anyway, um, thanks for watching. If you've been here and you've been watching every episode, I appreciate you. Share with other gardeners. Um, if there's something in particular that you learned from any of my videos, drop that in the comments down below. If there's something you want to see, uh, if there's something I haven't updated on and you're curious, drop that in the comments. Let me know. Give me a like, give me a subscribe if you're feeling nice, and you'll see me next time.